Today, I'm gonna to show you how to properly work with raw photos in Photoshop. Hello and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on flurn.com where we make learning fun. Now in today's episode, we're gonna show you how to properly work with a raw photo in Photoshop. Now, anytime you're gonna bring a raw photo into Photoshop, first you have to go through a different program. It's built into Photoshop, so you don't have to open anything else, but it's called Adobe Camera Raw. And this is Adobe's raw processing software. Now, Adobe Camera Raw basically reads raw information and you can edit things like your exposure and your white balance in your raw file. And then you open that image in Photoshop. So opening that image into Photoshop, there's a conversion that happens. So when you're in Photoshop, you're not actually editing the raw image itself. But we're gonna show you how to properly edit your workflow so you can get back to that raw image at any point in time. Now, for those of you who are using Lightroom, that program actually uses Adobe Camera Raw built into it as well. So whether you're using Lightroom or Photoshop, Anytime you're editing a raw image, it's using software built inside those programs called Adobe Camera Raw. When you have a raw image to work on, I suggest bringing that directly into Photoshop through Adobe Camera Raw rather than going through Lightroom. And the reason is workflow wise, it's just a little bit less destructive. And I'll show you all about that right now. So here in Photoshop, let's go to file and we're gonna go down to open and I'm gonna choose this raw image that I shot in Mexico on a recent vacation. All right, let's go ahead and open this up. Now, if you wanna follow along, you can actually download this sample raw image right on flurn.com and follow along. So here you can see, this is our Adobe Camera Raw dialog. It says at the top, in this case, it's Camera Raw 11, and it'll tell you what camera you're using. I shot this with my Fujifilm X100F, which I love, by the way. Let's go ahead and take a look at our photo. Now, I might wanna do a couple things. Let's go to our lens correction. Let's enable our profile corrections, which will get rid of a little bit of distortion and a little bit of vignetting. And then maybe I wanna just bring my vibrance up just a little bit. Uh, at this case, I think I'm gonna bring my uh, exposure up a little bit. We'll just brighten it. And I'm losing some information from the highlights. So let's pull this down in my highlights. So at this point, the photo looks great and we're ready to bring it into Photoshop, but there's a very important dialogue that we need to make sure we check before bringing it into Photoshop. This is kind of like the main thing you should get out of this tutorial. It's located right down here in the Adobe Camera Raw dialog. So again, here's the Camera Raw dialog. Right down here, we have a string of numbers and letters and all kinds of stuff. You might not even know that you can click on that and you can click on it and you most definitely should click on this because it's kind of the most important part of this entire dialogue. So let's click right down here and this brings up our workflow options. So here in our workflow options, this is where you can choose things like your color space. I'm gonna choose Profoto RGB in this case because it's the largest color space, meaning I can work with the most colors in Photoshop. There we go. My depth, I'm gonna choose as 16 bits per channel. This is again, just the largest bit depth so I can work with the most information possible. And here on the bottom, this one is extremely important where it says Photoshop, open in Photoshop as smart objects. You wanna make sure that's checked. It's actually unchecked by default, which is unfortunate. We want to make sure that is checked. It opens it as a smart object, which means you can get back to Adobe Camera Raw and I'll show you how to do that. So let's hit okay there. And now we're gonna go ahead and open object. So if it says open object there, then you know it's the right, you have the right settings there, okay? Because if you uncheck this, it says open image. So you wanna make sure that's checked and this says open object. So let's go ahead and open this up. Now, there's a little conversion here that happens. It's saying the working space is different from the uh, image color space. That's okay, we wanna say use the embedded profile of the image. So we wanna make sure to always use the embedded profile of the images. So let's open that up. There we go. And I'm gonna hit F for full screen and here's our image. So let's go ahead and check it out. If I go to image and down to mode, you can see I'm in 16 bits. Perfect. Okay, if I go to edit, I'm gonna just go down to convert to profile. I'm not gonna do any conversion here, but it's gonna tell us our profile is Profoto RGB. So that's really great as well. 
Okay, and now let's say I wanna get back into Adobe Camera Raw. For instance, if I look at this picture and I'm like, you know what? I think our color temperature is a little off. Maybe I wanna make it warmer. I wanna make it feel like it's a warm day. I wanna get back into Adobe Camera Raw. And this is, this is the meat of the tutorial again, because this is about properly working with raw photos in Photoshop. So to get back into the raw image, all you have to do is double click right here on the thumbnail. You can see we have our thumbnail and this is the little icon for a smart object. So if I double click here, we are back in Adobe Camera Raw, where now I can do things like adjust my color temperature if I'd like to. I can adjust my white balance. Let's say our white balance was off. Let's say it was you know something like uh, tungsten, okay? And we had that open, accidentally had it open in tungsten, whatever. Instead of trying to like do a color correction of my image, which doesn't make sense because the white balance is actually off, you can just go into Adobe Camera Raw here choose the proper white balance. There we go. In this case, I wanna just warm it up a little bit and let's hit okay. And then you can see it converts it back and you're good to go to work on this image again in Photoshop. Now this workflow is fantastic because it sets you up to do all kinds of wonderful things, including options like luminosity masks, which we actually have a tutorial on florin.com. You can just follow the link on your screen right now to check that out. But you could also, let's say I wanted to uh, just darken the sky a little bit. All I have to do is just double click right back here. I can bring my highlights down, just lighten or darken that sky. There we go. Maybe I wanna take my uh, vibrance up just a little bit. There we go, we've got a little bit more color. And hit okay, and we're back in Photoshop. You can see we've recovered all that information from our sky. And then here I could do something like create a new layer, grab a spot healing brush tool, and maybe just you know get rid of that little guy. That was actually a bird flying by. It just kind of looks like a piece of dust though. You know, do a couple little spots right there. And then we just save this out as a PSD and we're good to go. Well, there we have it, our proper raw workflow in Photoshop. Just be sure to click on that bottom area in Adobe Camera Raw. There you can set your color space, your bit depth, as well as making sure it's a smart object so you can get back into the raw image at any time. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up and hit subscribe on your screen right now. We'll send you a free tutorial every single week. How nice is that? Thanks again, I'll floor you later. Bye everyone. Every single week. Thank you. That's someone calling? They wanna get access to the tutorials? Oh, package delivery. Peakage delivery. Do I have time to finish out this? Yeah, I'm just gonna run out. Okay. They won't even see you. It's just gonna disappear. Ooh. Okay, we're done. Dunzo. His name is Dunzo. Perfect.